Hi, I'm Daniel Kingsley. I'm the director of Presence Training. I help people to be authentic speakers and leaders. Over the years, I've helped thousands of people to feel more real, confident and connected when they speak in the context of their working lives. And I hope with this video, I'm going to be able to do the same for you. If you hate introducing yourself in meetings or other situations, you are not alone. It is incredibly common. People often come to me for help with this and they think they're the only person who's got this problem, but most people hate introducing themselves in business meetings. I'm going to explain to you why and what you can do about it. So in this video, I'm going to give you five secrets to doing this. And the first secret is that it's actually really vulnerable to introduce yourself in a business meeting. And there are a number of reasons for this. The first thing is you're being thrown in to speaking in public. You don't get a round of applause. Suddenly the spotlight's on you. You're expected to be interesting, concise, make a good impression. The second reason is that it's going round the table and you're watching other people introducing themselves and you're comparing yourself to them. Will I do it as well as they do? What will people think? The third reason is as other people are introducing themselves around the table, you are judging them and you know that they're going to be doing the same for you. And the last reason it's really vulnerable introducing yourself in a business meeting is many people, in fact, most people suffer from imposter syndrome. This is the idea in our heads that we're not really good enough to be doing our jobs and one day we're going to get found out. And about 80% of people suffer from this to some extent. So these, for all of these reasons, introducing yourself in a business meeting is a vulnerable thing to do. So what can we do about it? Well, I'm going to divide this video, the remainder of this video, into four sections. The first one is how to deal with the vulnerability and build real confidence. Second section is going to be about what to say. Third section about how to practice. And lastly, how to deliver the speech your introduction really effectively and confidently. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is how to build real confidence. This is a vulnerable situation and there's absolutely no way of getting around it. So we need to manage the vulnerability in the situation. And we do this by taking ourselves in hand. And we do that by using a technique that psychologists and psychotherapists call self-soothing. It's like a more adult part of your brain reassuring the more childlike part of your brain that is freaking out. And there are three sections to this. Empathy, validation and reassurance. So if I demonstrate that for you, empathy, you would listen to the part of you that's freaking out and just repeat back what you've heard. Yeah, I can hear you're really, really worried about this. You really want to make a good impression. Uh, you're worried other people are going to judge you and it's freaking you out a bit. So that's the empathy validation yeah it really makes sense to me why you're worried about this people are going to be judging you you want to make a good impression it's going to make a difference to how they view you going forward so it's really understandable that you're worried about this so you're telling that part of you that you can understand what it's worried about with kindness the kindness is really important in the validation and then the reassurance you do know what you're talking about. You're actually good at your job. We've scripted this, we've practiced this. There is every chance you're gonna do, we're gonna do a really good job. I think we've got this. This is the key piece that most coaches won't teach you, how to actually deal with the vulnerability of the situation itself. But it's the thing which is going to make absolutely the biggest difference. If you can do this for yourself and with practice, you're going to be able to do this quite easily. You're going to be able to calm yourself down enough for it not to feel like a big deal and the worrying will subside. So you've started to successfully calm down the part of you that's freaking out. What are you going to say? I don't usually advocate scripting what you say in any public speaking context or any business context. But in the context of a business introduction, I would recommend it. And the reason for this is quite simple. We are most vulnerable in the first 30 seconds to one minute when we are speaking in any public speaking context. And most introductions last a shorter time than this, 10 or 20 seconds. So you're at your most vulnerable. You're going to want to have something solid to hang on to. So I'm going to give you a very basic formula for an introduction in this context, which is very effective. 
three sections. Section one, say hello and say what your name is. Section two, tell them what your job title is. Section three, tell them what that means and crucially what that means for them. So if I give you an example of this, you'll have seen an example at the top of this video when I introduce myself to you. I'm going to give you an imaginary example now. Hello, my name is James Smith. I'm the Information Systems Controller here at Allied International Bank. I look after all your computers and all the programs on your computers. So if you've got any issue with the programs that are running or indeed the hardware, speak to me or a member of my team. I'm sure we're going to be able to sort you out. There you are, short and sweet. That will do the job. Depending on who you're introducing yourself, you might need to tailor the context bit at the end. Have a think about who the people are in the room, what they're going to know about you, not know about you, and know about what you do. And imagine what they would need to know to know, crucially, how you are going to be able to help them with what they want to do. OK. The next step is practice. I would really, really recommend practicing your introduction. And I'd recommend videoing yourself and watching yourself back. You don't need any fancy material. You can do this on your phone. You can do this. If you've got a camera with a tripod, that's fine. You can record yourself on Zoom. Keep practicing and watching it back until you are happy or fairly happy with how you are coming across. And it feels automatic, so you don't need to think about it. If you want some feedback on how you could do it even better, ask some friends for feedback on what you've said and, crucially, how you've said it. OK, now how do we deliver this really effectively? And I'm going to give you three key tips here. The first one is slow down. Most people deliver their introductions way too quickly. Deliver your introduction slowly enough that people can actually assimilate the information. Use pauses. You will have seen that I use pauses quite a bit in these videos. Secondly, make eye contact while you are delivering your introduction. Ideally, you want to be having eye contact with two or three people in the course of in your introduction and be in eye contact with each person for three to five seconds. I've made a number of detailed videos about how to do this, but what it's going to do for you is it's going to give you better connection with your audience. And if you do it right, it's going to calm you down. So if you want to know more about how to do that, check out the videos that I've made on that subject, especially ones about seeing and allowing yourself to be seen. Thirdly, get behind yourself. So in the moment of delivery, this is very similar to the self-soothing. In the moment of delivery, notice the part of you that's freaking out and just say to that part of you, we've got this. It's all going to be fine. We know what we're going to talk about. We know what we're going to talk about. We're going to do a good job. So again, slow down, make eye contact and get behind yourself. Trust that if you believe in what you've got to say, other people are going to believe in what you've got to say. So that's it. It may seem daunting at first, but with practice, this is going to be pretty easy for you and you're going to be able to make some great introductions. Do let me know how you get on by telling me in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more videos on authentic public speaking and leadership. If you'd like to know more about our work and how we might be able to help you, do come and visit us at presencetraining.co.uk. I wish you the very best of luck with all your introductions.